In exceptional circumstances, like a terrorist attack, the police are faced with enough challenges. Keeping the city clear allows them to do their job and is safer for the people. The safety of the people is very important. However, the way the media reacted was a frenzy and everyone was left scared and vulnerable. It also calls into question the way Boston Police Department decided to close Boston's children's hospital but leave open Dunkin' Donuts. When a dangerous suspect is on the run, the police need to locate them rapidly. There's a real possibility of further danger and no way of knowing what the suspect is capable of. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. But we need to be more proactive as opposed to reactive to these situations all the time. This is exactly what the terrorists want. They want the glorification and the headlines. We've seen this before, from Columbine to Wisconsin. Until we increase the amount of time a child is at school and decrease the amount of time they're given as holidays, we will forever be handicapped in the global race. We need to help working families who are spending a lot of money on after school care and taking time off work for holidays. Schools should address the needs of children and not be a substitute for childcare. What you're suggesting will place greater pressure on teachers and increase their already overburdened workloads. But we've seen this remedy working in a number of academies where it's been tried and tested. It's about time we take ourselves out of this old and outdated system and take this country finally out of the recession. Increasing school days doesn't address the real underlying issues, disproportionate standards and failures of public schools. We need real research for proven results. What you're suggesting is a short-sighted remedy at best. Sikhs who were born in this country are now creating and partaking in a movement that hasn't existed here for a very long time. Their passion and commitment for getting things done is something we should be celebrating, nothing else. Is celebrating enough? Protesting is the first step in a long battle and do Sikhs today have the stamina and vision to see it out to the end? I think this issue will be dead in a month. You're right. This is only step one. There's many more to be done, but for now, let's just enjoy the fact that we've awoken. The strategy and vision will come later. Any revolution is only as successful as its ideology. Do Sikhs today have the capacity to develop revolutionary knowledge and strategies, and are they even open to guidance?